Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Van Amsen. Today we are tackling a classic problem from LeetCode, the two sum. Uh, let's dive right into it, this time in Rust. Uh, the problem states that we are given an array of integers, nums, and an integer target. We need to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. And the constraints tell us that there is always one valid solution and we can't use the same element twice. So let's start with a simple uh, solution and then we will optimize it to meet the follow-up uh, question. So simple brute force solution will be two nested loops. Uh, yeah, and we check whether uh, two numbers are summing to the uh, target and we can do better. So we can uh, come up with uh, O n time complexity using uh, hash maps. And by using uh, hash maps to store the numbers and their indices, we can reduce the time complexity to O n, so linear. For each number, we check if it's a complement. So target minus number is in the map, if it is, we have found our two numbers. If not, we add the number and uh, its index to the map and uh, look further uh, through iteration. So, so let's implement our uh, solution. So first we need to import the hash map structure from the standard collections. So use as the, the collection hash map. So this is our uh, hash map imported and now we can implement uh, rest of the code. So initialize an empty hash map, then let mood map hash map new and iterate over the vector with indices and values. So for i num in num iter enumerate. So check if the complaint of the current number exists in the map. So if let some j map get target minus num if it exists return the indices of the current number and complement so return vect j as i32 and i as i32 Otherwise, if it doesn't exist, add the current number and its index to the map. So map insert num and i. So if no pair is found, return an empty vector. This should never happen. Case due to problem constraints. So vec and we return empty vector. So let's test our uh, code for given test cases and hopefully it will pass. So yeah, it passed and runtime is very fast. So uh, going through the algorithm logic, if we have uh, number two, we iterate over the uh, vector and we check whether uh, target minus number. So in this case, nine minus two exists. It doesn't exist. So we insert number two and respective uh, index. So zero to the map and check with uh, next iteration. So then we have number seven and uh, nine minus seven is two. So we know this current, we have number seven, but we want to check whether complement was seen before. So complement is two 
and we check that two appeared before seven. So we retrieve the index of uh, our complement. So in this case, two and uh, J is zero. So index of number two is zero. So we return zero one and it's a correct uh, output. And obviously two plus seven is nine. So let's check for unseen test cases. And yeah, so I'm submitting and yeah, uh, everything passed and memory beats 5% and runtime 80%. So memory is 2.7 mega and runtime two milliseconds. So that's it for today. Problem to Zoom. I hope you found this uh, walkthrough helpful. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Rust uh, content uh, and until next time, happy coding.